Welcome to another edition of Women Talk. My name is Dee Collins. I'm the editor of Focus Magazine, a high quality print and online magazine with articles set to empower, inspire and support women. Today I'm delighted to have award-winning photographer and videographer Vanessa Laval Glad with us. We're honored to have Vanessa work with us on so many projects, including most of our covers. I meet so many women when I'm out and about who really don't like having their photos taken. I'm one of them. So we thought we'd call on Vanessa to give us some advice. Vanessa, why do you think women are so anxious about having their photo taken? I think it's something that we overthink. The self-doubt in our minds just take over. Little insecurities that every woman or every person has um, are just magnified by the thought of sitting in front of a camera. Usually the, the self-doubt comes from a place of lies, to be honest. It's something that we tell ourselves that, and things that we see in ourselves when we look in the mirror that, mm -hmm. that nobody else will ever see. Once people do get in front of that camera and realize that, hey, it's actually not that bad, um, afterwards they feel like it was really worth it <laughs> to get out of the comfort zone. Yeah, so it's that little voice in our head that we just need to get over and... Uh... Yeah, absolutely, and it doesn't matter how beautiful people are, everyone has it. I see it with 99% of the people that walk into my studio, and everyone say, says, oh, I'm not photogenic, or I, I don't do good in photos, or whatever, but it really is just something in your own mind that you need to overcome. And for me that shows the importance of having professional photography and professional photos taken. So why do you encourage people to have professional photos taken? In this day and age people are finding you on the internet before they meet you. You want to be putting an image out there that is something you can be proud of in the mm. first place. Having a professional photo taken is not just about the equipment that I use or the um, lighting or anything like that, but it's also about finding a connection. A professional photographer will coach you through a session and uh, pose you and set you up to absolutely show your best self. This is something we struggle to do by ourselves with selfies. <laughs> They'll just show you exactly how you need to be sitting or standing or looking or tilting um, mm. to get your best angles. We've worked with you so often and you're so good at guiding us through and you know the chin and where it should be and the angles and all that sort of stuff. Would you just mind showing us if someone's sitting like they are now, what's the sort of pose they should do? My kind of rule of thumb is usually leaning forward to the camera. This brings your face closer to the camera uh -huh. and makes your body look smaller. If I was taking a photo from there, I'd get them to cross their legs and lean forward um, and bring your chin down slightly just to open the eyes a little bit more. So bringing down the chin opens your eyes? Exactly, okay. yeah. And um, it also minimizes any extra extras we may have. Right. <laughs> I always tell people to push their chin forward and down which feels a bit like a chicken. It just creates that illusion of a smaller body, which most of us wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. And what do you do, you know, with your smile to, to help you relax? And where do you put your tongue <laughs> and all those sort of things? Everyone's different and everyone has obviously a different way of smiling. I always remind people just to relax. I get them to laugh. Um, the moment you laugh, your whole face relaxes mm. and everything kind of goes where it needs to go. As long as your body and your shape is as it should be, then a friendly laugh in the face is, is what I'm looking for and just that connection. Now would you mind showing us how to stand uh, sure. in a photograph? Right, we're now standing in front of the camera. What do we do? What do we do? Right, usually it's leaning forward slightly, bring your shoulder around, bring your chin around your shoulder and smile naturally. <laughs> I usually get people to kind of tilt a little bit, so lean forward with your body and tilt your face a little bit. There okay. we go. Gorgeous. There so you you're still doing the long neck? Still doing the chin forward and down. And you're putting the weight on the front leg? Usually I get people to start on the back, but it kind of naturally yeah. goes to the front goes when you forward. lean forward. So yeah. And what do you do with your hands? How do you make it look relaxed? So basically just pinning, pinning your elbows to your 
sides and yeah slightly back to bring okay. your shoulders back as well yeah what about those poses where you know you're with a couple if it's a business type portrait and they're a couple in business yeah. i would get them quite close mm. not too close so that it looks like a, a wedding photo or right like okay that. alternatively i get people to actually stand slightly not completely back to back but okay but yeah kind of side on to each other and, and arms yeah, folded or something like yeah. that yeah and any colors you would suggest that obviously everyone has different colors that yeah. suit them better black is a go-to for many reasons it does minimize excess it takes the focus off the clothes and brings it back to you which yeah, is where we want the focus important. to be yes. but some people don't like black and I, I'm, I for one never wear black and um, so I would wear preferably a solid color mm -hmm. or a, um, not too busy in the in the print and so right. to, again we want to keep the focus here and not on the clothes that you wear well, we've had Vanessa Laval Glad with us today. She's the most amazing professional photographer. She also does videography. If you'd like to give Vanessa a call, just hop onto the link below and uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next show. Bye.